percent skill, fifteen percent concentrated power of will, five percent pleasure, fifty percent pain, and a hundred percent reason to remember the name. We're not here on this planet to spend money. We're not here on this planet to manipulate people. Some of you don't know it, but in you manip manipulate other people. You understand? That's why in every class I give, I say, in my opinion. That's why I do this. Because I don't want you to think that this is the way. I want you to think that this is a way of thinking so you can think for yourself. Yes, so I never manipulate people. I never, in class, I never do, wow, you're so good, yeah, my man, so that next time she will come to my class. I do this because I really love what I see. You understand? And when I say purpose, it's when I say, okay, how many of you know what's your purpose on this planet? How many of you? Raise your hand. And I don't mean, again, I don't mean selfish purpose. I don't mean selfish dream. Selfish dream would be uh, to win Jus de Boo or to make one million dollars. That's selfish. You understand? And I mean purpose. Like, what can you do for another human being? Think about it. Not now, because you need to listen to me. Yeah? But how many of you do something for other people? Yeah? You understand? You need to start thinking about other people, not only yourself. Okay? The next problem is that I told this, I tell this in class, and soon and fresh. I tell this. We think too much. We feel too little. This is Charlie Chaplin. You know Charlie Chaplin? He said this. We th in, a, in one of the best motivational speeches I ever heard in my life. It was from a movie, I think. Charlie Chaplin said, We think too much, we feel too little. When you see Charlie Chaplin, what, what do you think? A goof. An idiot. You understand? You know how smart he was? He was very smart. He was very, very smart. And he had a meeting with uh, Einstein. You know Albert Einstein? He's my, he's my, he's my mentor. I have it. I have him on my. I have tattooed with Albert Einstein. I have the the, the tablet. Yeah, the tablet. Yes, in English. I have it with Einstein. I have my room is filled with Einstein. Why? Not because of what he created, like uh, you know. Uh, string theory and stuff like that. Yeah? It's, it's because he was a very kind man. And he, did, he wasn't like this all the time on the blackboard writing stuff. He, he experimented. You understand? He went to nature. He, he, always, want, he always wanted to go into nature. He, the mystery, he said, listen, he said this. That's why I recommend meditation to people. He said this. That it's all the discoveries that I made in my entire life, uh, theory of uh, relati relati sorry, real relativity theory, string theory, and stuff like that, all of this, all of these, he, he, he came up with them while he was in a mental break. You understand? When he wasn't thinking, and everything he created, he made when he had a mental break, a pause. When he was in nature, you understand? And it's a, a, a very nice thing he, he, he said about uh, was the conversation between Charlie Chaplin and Einstein. It's very nice. I, I don't know. I don't know it. But that's why I read it. He said this. Einstein said this to Chaplin. So you know, Chaplin never talks. It's a mute movie. Yeah? He said, "What I admire most about your art is that it is universal. You don't say any word, and the whole world understands you." And you know what uh, Chaplin said to Einstein? But your glory is greater. The world admires you while no one understands you. This is amazing. You understand? This is amazing people. These are people you need to look at. These are people you need to watch and hear and read about them. You don't need to read about Madonna. I mean, you can read about Madonna, but this, you understand? It's just paparazzi shit. You understand? This is what you need. This is, this is the kind of people you, you need in your life. This is what you need. You need people who inspire you to be great in everything, not just in dance. You understand? This is very important. Again, the world admires you while no one understands you. Do you know how hard this is? Okay? How to think. I say this in class, right? I said this in class. How to think for yourself. 
It's the story of five monkeys. Five monkeys. Okay? There were five monkeys in a cage. It's an experiment. Five monkeys were in a cage. Just like this. Yes? And uh, on... Uh, okay. And uh, in the middle was a big pillar. Yes? Like a... You understand? Like it's... Like this. And... Like here. Yeah? Like a pillar. And on top of this pillar were bananas. Yes? Every time one monkey wanted to climb up and take a banana, the man started throwing uh, ice water at the monkeys. Mm -hmm. Yes? After a while, the monkeys started to realize that when they want to go up for the bananas, they will get wet and, and get cold. You understand? So, they stopped going for the bananas. This is the first step. The second step, the man took one monkey out of the cage and put in another monkey. This monkey didn't know about the water, yes? This one, the, 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 the new one, didn't know about the water. So, the first day, he was hungry, the new monkey. He wanted to go up and the other four monkeys started to beat him. Because they knew, you're stupid, you'll get, you'll get wet. So they beat the monkey down, you understand? Another day goes. One monkey goes out, a new monkey comes in. And, and they did this until all the monkeys inside were new. They weren't the first five. Yes, so the first five were here. So instead of this, this, instead of this, this, yes. And after five days, six days, all the, the first generation monkeys, they were outside and the new ones were in. No monkey knew why they started beating each other. You understand? This is what we do. Th that's what we do. You understand? So the first monkey got beat, got beat up when uh, they started to, when he wanted to climb up. And then when the second monkey came in, the new monkey was the first one who was changed, started to beat the other ones. And all, all this until all the five monkeys were new. They were beating each other when they wanted to go to the bananas, but they didn't know why. You understand? That's people. This, this is what we do. We don't question anything. How many of you have come I'm telling you, zero, but I want to, I still want to ask the question. How many of you came after class and asked me questions about dance? How many of you? I know, nobody. <laughs> That's why I said, how many of you in your head have started thinking about what I said in classes, if it's true or not? Because it, maybe it's true. Maybe I'm evil and I'm just saying things to you so you, your dance will stop. <laughs> maybe I'm evil, you know, like Mojo Jojo. Yeah, maybe I'm evil. Maybe I just want to say stuff to you that will ruin your dance, not help your dance. Did you start thinking about the things I said? If the, not, no, listen, not uh, if you think it makes sense. If you think it's, it's true for you, you understand? This is what I'm talking about. Yeah? That's why I say, think for yourself. Another thing, now I teach you this. This is what, what's going to happen to some of you. I come to class, I give you information, blah, 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 blah. Thank you, oh, shit, we love you, goodbye, go home, yes, blah, blah, blah. I go home, then another teacher comes in, uh, yeah, so da, 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 and the, he starts saying things that are in contradiction with what I say. And you say, ah, oh, fuck it, this is the truth. And then this guy goes out, another guy comes in, blah, 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 oh, fuck the second guy, this guy is telling the truth. I know this because I did this. That's why I say all the things that I, 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 I have written down here, I know this because it happened to me. That's why I say it's normal if it happens to you. Just be aware of it, yes? Be, uh, be conscious about this. You understand? Yes? Okay, so you need to start thinking for yourself. Build your own way of thinking. Listen to everybody. Listen to anybody you can. Anybody can give you a lesson. Just Make sure you don't throw everything you had before and just model what you or you, what you have now. You understand? This is Socrates. You know Socrates? Yes, this is Socrates. This for me is the greatest thinker ever. The, his greatest quote is this. Oh my God, when I heard it, look, look. I'm, I'm, when the first time I hear this, I was like, I realized my life was fucked up. It didn't make any sense. Listen, his fam most famous quote is this. The unexamined life is not worth living. You understand? The unexamined life is not worth living. 
Yes? So question everything. René Descartes, how many of you know René Descartes? I say this in the book. I mentioned all these philosophers. You don't know this because you're too young, but another guy, René Descartes, his most famous quote, I think, therefore I am. You understand? He said in, in, in all his books, he said uh, in, in, in his books this, uh, uh, at some point in life you need to question everything. I question the sun. I don't know if the sun is the sun. I'm serious. I don't know if the sun is actually the sun. You understand? I don't know if our planet is the only one that's populated and NASA and stuff like that and Area 47 or, you know, American bullshit and stuff like that. I love Americans. So please don't, don't kill me. Okay? Yes? So it's important to think. I, I think about stuff like this. I think about God. I think about the sun. I think about planets. I think about stuff like that. There are a lot of movies to see that, that tell you. There are subliminal messages that tell you. Watch out. Listen, be careful, and think. You understand? There's a lot of movies to, to say, okay? This is the first one. The second one. Reason is a chain of truths that can only produce truth. This is Gottfried Leibniz. Leibniz is a great, uh, great uh, physician, but also a philosopher. So, reason is a chain of truths that can only produce truth. So, it's like this. When you, after you start, see, everything is in order. Yes, it's in order. After you start thinking for yourself, you go from, I don't know if it's in English, you know axioma? Like a triangle always has three sides. This is a, this is a verified truth, it cannot be broken, yes? This. So you start from an, a universal truth, like dance has to be on beat. Yes? It makes sense, right? Okay, well, uh, street dance has to be on beat, though, at least, okay? Yes? And from there, you go on to discover more truth. But you need a basis for your way of thinking. Do you understand? So again, reason is a chain of truth that can only produce truth. Okay? This is the second one. The third one. The world is only a school of questions. You understand? Life is your only teacher. Your only teacher is life. What happens to you is your teacher. The last quote. Is from the book. It's like this. Listen. It's very important. Listen. Uh, when the beautiful is known as beautiful, then the ugly is known as ugly as well. When the good is known as good, then the bad is known as bad as well. Each aspect, yin yang, each aspect has its opposite. The difficult and the easy support each other. The long and the short complete each other out. The high and the low mirror each other. You understand when I say this? Yes? So, to finish, I want to say thanks to Marta for inviting me here. I want to thank all the organizers who brought me here and took care of me for food and stuff like that. Uh, I wanted to, to, to write down all their names, but you have weird names and it's too many consonants and it's the kuzu, it's a and stuff like that, it doesn't make sense to me. And I said, okay, instead of messing up their names, I just don't say it, okay? Uh, I want to thank you for coming to my class. Listen, I got, I, I, my dancing was better because you gave energy back to me. I don't dance this good at home, trust me, I know this, I'm being honest. I don't dance this good at home I'm, because I feel you, you give me energy, yes? I dance so much better, not because I see you like me, not my ego, is, ah, ah, ah. but because you give me energy, you understand? So I want to thank you for coming to my classes, and I have two more, but that's not, okay? So thank you for those classes too, okay? Uh, yeah, uh, I want to thank you for coming to my classes and, and opening yourself to me. I want to thank you for this. I'm being honest. I'm not just, it's not just something I, I, write, I write down so that you can say, oh, Sid is a great guy. I actually mean this. I'm very thankful that I had so many students in my class. Okay? Yes? And uh, last but not least, Haribos uh, <laughs> Makradosh. Thank you for coming.